Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Poke One. I am Drake Adams, and we are here now officially in the Johto region. They have busted us back down to private, <laughs> back down to level 5, and then we're going to be starting over a whole new journey. Night is actually just ascending right as we came into game, so we saw the screen get a little bit darker. So we're going to be exploring New Bark Town in the night in the darkness, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and take a look around. We have our new group of Pokemon, and they're red right now because even though Eevee here is level 26, our trainer level is 5, so it's going to be fighting like a level 5 Pokemon until we get built up. So we're going to need somewhere to rest because our guys are pretty looking pretty weak. And actually, let's go ahead and put Scyther inactive because, yeah, Eevee's going to die soon. And let's uh, explore this uh, village here. Don't forget to heal your Pokemon. You can do that in Professor Helm's lab. Okay, good. So we'll have to find this lab, Professor Helm. Let's see. I don't think this is a lab. It looks like a house, but we'll check it out. And there's upstairs, too, so we'll check that out. Oh, there's an aunt. Oh, this is our aunt? Hello, nice to see you. What about your mother? Are you going back from time to time? I bet she misses you. Uh, it's always the same. You kids leave home one day. Never come back, huh? Let's check on upstairs. So there's our auntie. We have actually checked out the mom a couple times. We should be able to rest here too, right? This is our aunt's house. So we're, these people are just hanging out. Was that like actual box? Oh man, there's treasure there. I can see it. Show us the treasure. Give it to us, precious. We want it. Okay. We'll get on our bike. Cool. So we have to see the professor. Let's talk to Layla. We people in New Bark Town are very environmentally conscious. See these wind turbines? They power the whole town. That's pretty cool. Even though they're running at night. Not sure how that's working, but. Oh, and here's a cool looking kind of ninja badass lady, Ophelia. I've heard that uh, Professor Elm discovered some new Pokemon. Ooh. I wonder if that means that we're going to get another starter. I'm a little worried about going up these stairs because <laughs> the other one didn't do anything for us. So it's like, yeah, what's up with these stairs, bro? Help us out. Yeah, okay. So far, it's looking no bueno. So we might not go up another set of stairs. At least not in this starting town. Starting town, realistically, all we would probably find are like potions or something. So I don't know if it's worth our time. Okay, we have to find Professor. Whose house is this? This is another house, okay, Agatha. Professor Elm is famous for his research on Pokemon. We are very proud here in New Bark Town. Okay. So some very generic story stuff going on, but everyone looks seems to be pretty positive. As is what we would expect in the starting area, this must be the uh, professor area? Yeah, okay. It doesn't look like this from the outside, but... Let's talk to Phil. Hey, I'm Phil, Professor Elm's aide. Sometimes he sends me to deliver important messages or items. No worries, I'll find you anywhere. Here, take this. Maybe you'll need it. Nice, what is it? Ooh, a Pokeball. That's fine. It's $200, so we'll take it. Hello, you are not from around here, are you? What is your name? Drake Adams, okay. I have to apologize, I'm sure I've probably heard of you. But the truth is, I just don't have time to stay informed about what's going on in the world. Anyways, I could use your help. A friend of mine lives behind the next town, Cherry Grove City. We call him Mr. Pokemon. He keeps finding weird things. He said he's got something for me, but I can't leave at the moment. Could you look into it for me? That would be great. Of course, I wouldn't want you to go without a partner. Take a look at my machine and choose a Pokemon. Oh, nice, we do get to get a new Pokemon. Oh yeah, and I forget that we're such a low level. So, we'll see what we can get here. Choose your Pokemon. So, Chikorita, Totoda, and Cyndaquil. But we went with Grass in our first play with the uh, Bulbasaur. I think we're going to go the opposite of that and go Cyndaquil and have a good Fire Pokemon. We do have Magmar, but maybe uh, Cyndaquil can take that spot for us. You are claiming the Fire Pokemon Cyndaquil? Yes, we are. Tough choice. Cyndaquil is an energetic Pokemon. 
Cool. See, that wasn't a hard decision. Now you should be ready to leave. Your next step is to reach Cherry Grove City. North of the city, you'll find the cottage of Mr. Pokemon. But first things first, make it to Cherry Grove. Nice. <laughs> Getting all these super easy uh, quests done. Now, unfortunately, our slots were all filled, so we can't get the Cyndaquil right off the bat. But once we get to Cherry Grove and get to a Poke Center, we will use him. Right now, we'll ride with our Scyther. I wish I had a Pokemon. Cheer up there, little lass. You'll get one in due time. Cool. Alright. In a new area, as always, we'll check the map. Looks like standard Mons here. And we don't really need to even level up against random guys, wild ones. We'll just do trainers because it'll give us XP. Inez, when you're running through the tall grass, you should bring some Pokeballs. Need them to catch Pokemon. Oh, tight. We just got five Pokeballs. That's money right there. Let's see what's going on with Lemmy. Oh, we got cut. Ledges are made to jump off, not to climb up. Oh, yeah, how, how about you mind your business? Will it let us use cut even though we're low level? This tree looks like it can be cut down. Oh, we can't use so... We have the cut, but now we, we're going to have to relearn the uh, the abilities from, from gyms. Okay, so we're not going to be able to surf. We're not going to be able to do any of that stuff. We could probably still use it in battle, though. I can't see them taking that away from us. Samantha, what's up? Well, uh, let's find out right now, actually. Let's test it out. Let's try cut. Okay, yeah, so we can still use it in battle. Oh my gosh. But we can't... We don't want to use false swipe. No, no, no. Don't want to do that right now. But we can't use the our HMs outside, so we can't even fly back, actually. We can't fly back to Kanto. So that's kind of actually a big deal. Okay, well I guess we're stuck here for the time being. But that's fine, because we're going to conquer. Um, ooh, what's this? It's an apricorn tree. Since there's nothing to put in it, there's no reason to take it. Oh, no, nothing to put it in. Oh, so we could kind of carry it if we have some pots or something. You can harvest an apricorn uh, once each day. Apricorns have different colors, blue, red, yellow, and many more. You need an apricorn box to collect them. Now, how could you don't worry about what I need to do what I need to do when I got to do it? How about that? Sorry, I'm getting a little worked up. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Are we fighting our guy? Oh, no. Oh, dear. Wait. Where did you come from? Oh, hey, you're almost fainted. I'd better bring you to the next Poke Center. Oh, okay, nice. An injured Hoppip follows you. Hoppipip. Okay. Let's see, it follows us, like if we get out, will it be behind us? I thought we were gonna follow, like, or run into one of our nemesis, and I was like, I'm not ready for a nemesis. Oh, hey, look, look, we actually have a box to open up. Let's go ahead and hit our loot box here. And what is it, friend ball, fastball, TM66. I can really dig it, what's the TM66? Uh, payback. Here's Mr. Gent. <laughs> He's a chill gent. Hello, welcome to Cherry Grove City. If you need any help, feel free to ask. Uh, no, we're good. Thank you. Ooh, an Officer Jenny. Does she have any uh, bounties for us? Hi, Dre Gottams. Today you can choose five more bounties. Nice. Let's choose a bounty. Please select a bounty of your choice. Berries from Pidgey. I don't know. Um, challenge Joey on Route 30. Youngster Joey is on Route 30. He told me you'd be easy to beat. Let's see if you could beat him. Oh, that guy wants to battle. But we don't have a daily quest for the for the bounties, do we? Uh, no, we don't have that as a daily quest. Okay. Main quest: Bring the hit the hot pip to the Cherry Grove Poke Center. Oh, nice. You found an injured hot pip outside? Show me. Let's see what I can do. Where's the hot pip? Still in your Poke Box. Open the PC, okay. Man, can I heal up my guys though? We're actually gonna have to start minimizing some of these things, for sure. Like this, Hoot Hoot, he can go. Sorry Hoot Hoot, you can go. 
But I thought, uh, let's, yeah, we can start releasing all these dudes. Uh, Jigglypuff. Guess we'll make sure these guys don't have any good IVs. Ooh, actually, this Ekans has really good IVs. That one's good IVs. Solid. Good IVs. We actually have some pretty solid IVs still. Still here. Okay, well, we can get rid of the spinner rack. Nope, I canceled. Okay, let's get rid of that. I'm trying to make room here. Alright, Rhyhorn. We're going in there. And now, uh, where is our hot pit? in the third box. Hop it. There it is. I guess that means that we got a free hop it. I can dig it. You found the injured hop outside? Okay, yep. We already said that. Just in time. We'll heal it together with your other Pokemon. Thank you kindly. Here you go. Everything's fine again. I'm just wondering where it came from. Anyway, it's a Pokemon and it came to you. It seems like you have taken a shine to you. Aww. She's got a little heart. If you ever need some healing and no Poke Centers around, use potions. You can get them from a Pokemart next door. Why don't you go there and take a quick look? Cool. Alright, Hop Hip. Get your ass out of here. Let's get that Rhyhorn back. And actually, we should have the Cinder Quill too, right? Hey, there he is. Okay, let's swap him out for the Magmar. Magmar. It was nice to have you, but we're gonna use this guy for now. And unfortunately, his, uh, his IVs are not very good, and his stats are not, he's a calm nature, which is probably not very good either. So that's frustrating, but <laughs> it's gonna be in, in, in line with our Venusaur who had bad IVs and bad nature too. We will continue on. Still nice to have you, Cyndaquil. We're going to train you up to be the best that you can be. Don't you worry about that. Oh, don't you worry about that. Actually, let, let me see its IVs. At least it's got oh, it's got really good in the attack, though. And good in defense. If we were to do that, it'd be 200. Oof, cancel. So we could probably make him a lot better. Yeah, these are all just really bad. These are good. How many? How much? Go? Two, two, six. And that costs us 200. We'll not do it right now, but at least he's uh, got some solid things where it counts. Alright. So now we have to visit the Pokemart. See what's going on there. At least we can still ride our bike. That'd be sad if they took away our bike abilities. So here's some town stuff. We can't get in here. Gone fishing. Cool. Here's the mart. We'll get that one figured out. I'm gonna get that Cyndaquil leveled up. Welcome to the Pokemart. Just take your time and take a look around. Afterwards, you can continue your journey. Where are you going? Mr. Pokemon, he lives to the north. You'd better buy some potions. Yeah, how about you don't worry about what I gotta do? How about that? Yo, everyone's trying to worry about what we're doing over here. Oh, nice. We leveled up. We got loot box. Okay. Alright. So now, next up is reach the house of Mr. Pokemon on Route 30. What's going on, Bridget? You a Pokemon trainer? Let me see your badges. You are a Kanto champion. And you own zero Johto badges. Time to visit the Pokemon gyms all over Johto and collect badges. You are... Only two rights. Okay. Anything else we can grab around here? Let's check out this uh, little hut here. Ooh, the end of ends. Yo, come here. Hey. Hey, come here. Yo. Let's trap him. <laughs> there we go. I like to walk. My hell is fit. My Fitbit says I've done 1 million steps. I have to get to 2 million steps. I've traveled all around all the regions. Anyway, let's talking back to walking. Man, does sound like someone who wears Fitbits. It's like, I was like, why can't I get this guy? He's like, oh, that's why, because he's a Fitbit, dude. He's a Fitbit, bro. Alright. Well, I think... 
Moira. Let's see what Moira's going on. A Pokemon I caught had an item. Mystic Water. I don't need it. So do you want it? Oh, wow. Oh, it's gone. Sorry, I probably lost it somewhere in the city. A Mystic Water. Ooh, there's fishing to be done here. So now we have to find that Mystic Water. Ah, fishing. There's no better time to fish than now. Anything cool that we can get from it? Yeah, pretty standard fishing. With Pokemon, everything is fun. How many have you caught? A hundred two. What, really? Are you kidding me? Who are you? The Pokemon Catcher of the Year? That's what they called me. Let's check these. Let's find this Mystic Water. Just when we were going to get ready to just leave this place. Never look back. They tempt us and tease us with a hidden item. Uh-oh. Come on. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, let's see here. Should we hold item? I think it should increase our water attacks, right? Held boosted type of water type moves. Cool. Well, we, we definitely might uh, be able to use that. That's kind of a weird statement. Definitely might be able to. We definitely will be able to use it. Whether we do is yet to be seen. The big ships never dock here. You are a pretty small town. Okay. I think we did everything we can here. It's a beautiful city, isn't it? Uh, yes, and we're saying goodbye. I mean, it is nighttime, so it's kind of hard to tell. And here's Route 30. And let's see. Yeah, I think we're probably going to have discovered most of Pokemon in all these places. But here's our the first fight with our Cyndaquil. He has a tackle. Let's, let's get this guy going. Good thing is all of our other Mons are above our level, so every time we level up as a trainer, they're going to be ready to go. So they'll never fall behind. Unless we start using... Oh, look at all that, though. But we, we do want to level some with Cyndaquil just so we can get some better skills. Right now his, his attacks are like nothing, so we're going to use him. That's fun. We're starting all over. Now we're doing Johto. I don't really re remember. I don't even think I played Johto as a kid. I think I played red, blue, and yellow like a ton and then didn't play Gen 2 and then played again when it was like fire red and leaf green and stuff. So, this is going to be all new for me. So, hope you guys enjoy this new experience. It's like Johto region blind. And please pardon me if I struggle for a long time. Hey, we got another level there. Uh, cool. Next box opens in five minutes. We'll open those together. Cool, we got an item. Obtained one potion. Okay. We just keep checking items. Well, they're going to be low items for now, huh? Potions. Pokeballs. Oh, we don't have anything to do with this, huh? Since there's nothing to put it in, there's no reason to take it. I wonder if this is where Mr. Pokemon is. Mr. Pokemon himself. Mr. Tree. Not Mr. Pokemon. Mr. Tree. Hello! You're looking for Mr. Pokemon, aren't you? No, I was looking for you. Well, okay. Most people are looking for Mr. Pokemon. Nice to meet someone who's looking for me. Now that you are here, I have something special for you. You may have already noticed apricorn trees around. These trees bear fruit once per day. There are different fruits you can use to make them, to make items. Take this special box to gather them. Cool. An apricorn box. Nice. Come on, let's keep leveling up. We might have to do some of these things too so we can... Uh, I think you'll be a decent apricorn collector. So I wonder if we cannot get things off of trees, like take berries in? Or does this count as uh, looting berries? We'll see. Because we want to do these side quests so we can get levels up. Oh, I did. Okay. Quest complete. Okay, nice. Yeah, it does count. Nice. We got a green apricorn. Is that in berries in? What is it? Apricorns. Uh, okay, no, it's in the general item. So let's see. Green Apricorn has a mysterious aromatic scent. Nice. Level 7. So now all of our guys at least are level 7. 
And reach the house of Mr. Pokemon on Route 30. Oh man, now this guy's gonna not. We have to go all, all the way over here for the bicycle? Oh man. Let's see, alright. Guess we can keep. Okay, we got smokescreen now. We just gotta wait until we get Ember. This is a level 6. Bra -ta -ta. Oh my god, he might kill us. Oh, he's gonna kill us. Okay, let's switch. This would be a good time for... Who do we want to level up? I guess... Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll let Eevee. If Eevee get the kill, maybe he'll make Eevee happier. Here's a tackle. Let's go with Bite. Damn. That Vratata was a problem. It's gonna be hard to level up Cyndaquil. Okay, we cut through some grass. Oop, here's a youngster. Hey you, I'm trying to find more Pokemon. Also, I need more experience. You look easy to beat. Witness the power of my top percentile Vratata. Oh, his top percentile guy's back. He's back. Hopefully he doesn't have to go to another ghost graveyard thing. So, normal, we don't really have... Actually, Rhyhorn has a fighting attack, I think. You should, right? The, the Rock Smash. And, uh, yeah. There you go. This should one-shot. Even though I we are low level again, so who knows. Okay, good. Down goes his top percentile. <laughs> Your Pokemon cheated, I'm sure of it. Nice, yes, all these level ups. We need these level ups to get our other guys going. Okay, what's over here? Anything? Uh, it's a dead end, I can't tell. We have Electabuzz. Right now we're basically just trying to get our Cyndaquil up, so we're gonna train for him. That's why we're taking this fight. Oh, he's, he's, he put us to sleep. Ew, but, but we woke up. <laughs> you tried to sleep us, but we we are woke. We stay woke. Okay, level 7, Cyndaquil. Do you get another skill? Ah, uh, not yet. We could probably actually just straight up teach him... Let's see, we have like, I think we have Flame Wheel or something, right? We have Flame Charge. But, uh, we only have Flame Charge. Let's see what that would do for him. Oh, darn it, I forgot. <laughs> he had an open slot, so he was going to learn it no matter what. Okay, uh, well, he now has Flame Charge. Uh, cloaking itself in flame, use your attacks, then building up more power, the uses Razor its speed stat. Okay, that's actually pretty good. And it'll be helpful for us for now. I'm not mad at that usage. We're not gonna use it. I don't think we could survive a hit. Let's go. Yes, yeah, keep going with the Lectabuzz. If we find a grass Pokemon, we'll see if we can get a one shot on it. Electo ball. Electo ball. Okay, can we get out? Ah, oh, almost got out of the grass. So close to getting out. Okay, well here's a bug, so, and it's level two, so we should get the kill. Flame charge, super effective. Hey, yeah, look at him go. Look at him go, little buddy. Sweet. Okay, so we got a lot of boxes here. Now let's open up our boxes. What's in the box? What's in the box? Uh, ooh, Poke. Okay, five hundred dollars hat, Poke Gold. Like all that. We might actually put on that that new hat. Now that we're in Johto, let's go ahead and switch up our vibe again. Forty gold. Okay, Pokeball. Every time we get those golds, we're stacking up golds. So we can probably start. Switching around some IVs. Um, let's uh, look at our swag. Let's go to the swag station here. 
Whoa, okay, actually, no, that's, that's swag right there. That's, yeah. We're speaking swag station, that's where it's got to be at. Um, this is our, our super serious business attire. We don't need that right now. Oh, what's this? The aqua? It's kind of cool. This is actually, that's killer. We'll put that on. And then the headgear to go with that. Let's see, equip that. It's kind of, it's going to be dark to kind of see. Let's go in this house so we can check out our our new apparel. Oh, there's Mr. Pokemon. Oh, what? Oh, what? We look great. We look great. There's Professor Oak. Mr. Pokemon and then Professor Oak. Oh, hey, Professor Oak. Hello, you must be Dre Gotham. Professor Elm said he would send you. I am Mr. Pokemon, finder and keeper of mysterious things. Professor Elm informed you that I found something very mysterious, I presume. And this time, it's literally mysterious. Is it like a... Oh, okay, a mystery egg. Oh, so are there... Does that mean that there are eggs now? I found this mystery egg and want Professor uh, Elm to, to examine it. When it's about evolution, Professor Elm is the authority. Don't you agree, Professor Oak? Indeed. When it's about evolution, Pokemon, he is the best. Hello, Dragotoms. We know each other from Kanto. It was an exciting time back then. So, I don't have to explain anything to you anymore. I'm glad you're now helping Professor Elm handle things. I have to leave now, but I'm sure we will meet again. Goodbye, Professor. Until next time. Keep catching. So, I was curious. I, I didn't think there was breeding in the game, but maybe there is breeding. It's time for you to return to Professor Elm. I'd like to see his face when you show him the egg. Bon voyage. And be careful. Do not drop it. Just leveled up. We got a mysterious egg. We got more boxes. Stoked about all these boxes. Give us all the loot. A sweetheart, TM39, and Poke Dollars. What's sweetheart, dude? There's a lot of things going on. Okay. A sweetheart over here. It is not. Is it a held item? It is not. Medicine? It is medicine. Uh, sweet chocolates. When consumed, it restores 20 HP to an... Okay. Oh. Alrighty then. Nice. We're level 9, so that means our our backup squad, our squad that was already here, is even stronger. Oh, we can't use cut yet, huh? I uh, know, I know. Just rub it in our face that we can't use that ability. Come on, let's get Cyndaquil. Well, we, are, we have the fire attack now, so we're good. Okay, I, I am pretty interested to try some... Well, Tentacool is actually pretty low level, so let's see if we can get some kills there. Um, what would work against him? I mean, Surf is strong, right? Yeah, 90. Uh, I am interested to get him a little stronger, see what happens, and to try to do some breeding, walking eggs. Maybe we can take our Eevee and breed like a, a different Eevee. Oh, nice. We'll take that down. And down goes Frasia. Cool. Mm. I think there's one way that we didn't go, right? Is, isn't there a trainer here? Yeah, Youngster Mikey. Let's take him on. When you're a Pokemon trainer, you'll have to fight. Okay, Pidgey. I wonder... Can Pidgey kill us? That's the question. I would love... Oh, come on. One shot. One shot. Thirteen. Yes! If we can get a couple kills on a trainer mon, then... Okay, Radata will probably kill us. So let's go ahead and go over to Rhyhorn. Get that fighting attack in. Dum, dum, da, 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 dum. Okay, easy does it, easy does it. Okay, good, he leveled up. As a trainer, you learn to live with defeats. Okay. This is a good thing we got that fire move, because we, we didn't learn to move on that level up. We take that drop down. Ooh. I missed that before. What you got for us? An antidote. 
Yeah, we're gonna. The items starting off are probably not gonna be that great, to be perfectly honest. Oh, that guy already has a. Uh, Quee Lava, I think it's called. If I'm not mistaken. Okay. Oh, we just passed. <laughs> we passed it. I think, right? Where are we? Oh, we're in Cherry Grove. That's right. We gotta go all the way back to the other town. You gotta be kidding me, ref. Well, yeah, we're we're gonna go and heal up then. Although I think Elm can heal us up too, right? Let me take a look at those Pokemon. Let's take a gander at those Pokemon. Yeah, we don't have any grass types. I wonder if we need a grass type. We do have a electric right now for water. We don't really have... And we have fire. No. Oh, we don't have ground. We have water for ground. I mean, maybe we don't need grass. Would be nice if someone knew. Uh-oh. What now? Uh-oh. Oh, no. Hey, you! I've seen you at the lab. Now it's time for you to fight. Uh-oh, a dual fight? What the? Who are you? The all-seeing eye appears out from nowhere. What the? What? You better stop fooling around. Oh, hey, sorry. I'm Larry, and I want to m to make Pokemon movies. Is it okay if I record your battle? You two are about to battle, aren't you? No, just... Wait. Yes, well, why not? I, I guess a victory of mine. Okay, then. So this is our new rival. It's a good thing we healed up. Now back to you. Let's see what you've got. Okay, and of course there's a water type. It's level 5 though. The only problem is flame charge is not going to do much. Let's see if we can get one kill with just the tackles. We are a higher level. So, so long as it doesn't know a water move, we should be fine. Here's Leer. Give us a crit hit. Give us a crit hit. And here's a scratch. That should do more damage for it. Okay, we're fine. We're fine tackle. And we have a, a special move. He has none. Hey, good job. Good job. Good job. What? How? That was quite unfair. But just wait. I'll train my Pokemon and then you'll find out. Okay, thanks for the material. Bye, guys. Larry. Hey, wait. You're, you're not going anywhere. You come with me. But come with me. Uh, are they going to do some tricky stuff? He's going to edit it or something, huh? Cool. Player 10. Leveled up. More loot boxes. Cyndaquil. Got some good XP. Let's keep on opening up these boxes. And Porky Dollars. Oh, we got the swag. We just talked about it and we got it. TM57. After all that gear stuff we just did, we just ended up getting some better. Ooh, another a charge beam. Huh. Interesting. Uh, okay, 50 tax for electric charge. He's going to use remaining electricity to raise his special. Okay. Eh, not great. But we did get some swag. So let's go ahead and find that. I think that was the exact one that we were looking at. That's it's kind of funny how that worked out. We're in headgear, so that's not where we want to be. Like, what are the chances of that? Yeah, that was exactly what we were talking about. But yeah, let's equip that. And the way our hair is, that's very vampire-esque. So let's go. Oh, we're a vampire now. That's too cool. We're a vampire. This is great. How do we get back to town? How do we get back to town? How do we get back to town? Let's go ahead and get this kill real, real quick. Let me get there real right quick. Let me get that right though. Alright. Alright. Okay, I think we're close. Get out of the grass. Okay, here we go. Yeah, this has got to be it. Perfect. And actually, I now remember I forgot to do something. I wanted to see. Can we go up here? We can. Does this leave somewhere? 
It does. Okay, I was gonna say, I'm, this is kind of cool. Oh, Mrs. Elm. My husband is always busy with his Pokemon research. Sometimes he even forgets to eat. Maybe you want something? Oh, you're helping my husband with his work? Maybe your Pokemon like berries. Take some. Yeah, we'll take berries. Thank you. Please come back. Maybe tomorrow. Okay, so we can get a berry there whenever we want. I want to be a Pokemon investor when I grow up. Okay, hey, look at this. It looks kind of cool with that flame, too. Looks like we're like... We summon flame. Okay. Let's go see what's up with this egg, and hopefully we can incubate, because I know if we have magmar, we can incubate eggs faster. I heard a Pokemon was stolen here. I was just getting information from Professor Elm. Hey, it's you, Dragonums. What are you doing here? Well, let me guess. Catching and training Pokemon. Do you round. We'll catch the thief in no time. What do you think? Is catching a thief welcome relief from being a trainer? Serious now. Professor, you may want to describe the thief. A young boy with, with red hair, that's all I know. Oh man. Do you have some information for me, Drake Adams? What? You battle someone fitting this description already? You say his name was Silver? Okay. Thanks for helping me. I've got to go now. See you later. Okay, so our buddy is a crook. Well, not our buddy, our rival. A stolen Pokemon. This is terrible. Sorry. What was Mr. Pokemon's big discovery? This? Hmm, it's a Pokemon egg. If it is, it is a great discovery. I'll have to study and examine it. A lot of work is waiting for me. You should take your first step in the Johto Pokemon League. With strong Pokemon at your side, courage, and a little bit of luck, you'll make it. You'll find the first gym leader in Violet City. This is where you should go next. All of the best for you. I'll let you know as soon as possible when I discover something about the egg. Okay, so we don't, we aren't getting to walk around and hatch eggs just yet. But we do have a super badass cape. We have a Cyndaquil level 8. And uh, yeah, we're looking good. Happiness 85. What's Eevee's happiness? 75? Yeah, we, so we need to level up more. Well guys, okay. I think we did some good work. It looks like our next task is to go on to Violet City and challenge the gym leader there. So, looking pretty excited to that, as I've never done that before, and uh, we shall enjoy this adventure. Until next time, as always, I've been Drake Adams, and you've been great. Take care.